Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io and today we're going to be jumping into a little bit of Vue.js. So lately you see me building some to-do app tutorials and I've been building them with Angular, React, um, and now we're going to do Vue.js. So same exact uh, React, or excuse me, to-dos uh, tutorial, um, but this time it's all in, in Vue. Because um, traditionally I've been a Angular um, fan fanboy, I guess. And so I wanted to dabble with some of the other frameworks and see kind of the pros and cons. Um, I played with a couple other ones, but it seems to be that Angular, React, and Vue, I think, are the three, and maybe Ember.js, um, are kind of the big players uh, in the industry. So uh, I'm going to crank out that same app that we've been building in our other tutorials uh, for Angular and React, but this time in Vue. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you see here, um, Vue.js. Perfect. So you can see their website. Uh, it looks pretty cool. They got, uh, you can click getting started. It gives you lots of information. Um, you can go through the basics and learn how to make the hello world or hello view app. Um, it's pretty nice. I really like the documentation. It looks really clean. Um, so I've gone through this a little bit and I came across this project, view CLI. So this is kind of like create React app or Angular CLI or Ember CLI. It's um, a bunch of command line tools to help you out. So if you want to get started and go here, and if you have, you already got to have Node installed, but you could run this, install. So npm install dash g for global view CLI. So it'll go through. I've already installed it, so it should go a little quicker. I hope. But maybe we'll just update. Uh, well, that's happening. Um, so the next step is going to you're going to type view init. So most of the other acts it was like new or uh, something like that. So this one will do view init, the name of the template and the project name. So this is kind of different, the template name stuff, which if you scroll down, they have a couple different templates here. So there's Webpack, Webpack Simple, uh, Browserify, Browserify Simple, PWA for a progressive web app, um, and then just a simple, which is a basic HTML file. Um, just for try it out here, I'm going to go with the Webpack one. So if we set it up here, so if we go view init Webpack, that's the template and the app name to do app, like it says in the instructions here, they give you kind of that same example, that should go ahead and generate the project for us. So you'll see that, uh, ask for the name, sure, to do app. Sounds great. Um, view to do's will be the name of the project description, my name and email. Um, so Bryce Ayers, since Patrick's my first name. Um, and we can select two options with the up and down key. So I'm going to go runtime plus compiler um, since it's just recommended. Do we want the router? I'm gonna say no, because we don't really need it. Um, nah, we're not gonna ESLint, which is just um, kind of checks your code for if you missed a semicolon or something like that. I'm not gonna worry about it for now. We're not gonna worry about test units, not doing end to end. Boom, cool. So now it says it generated the to-do app. So you'll see one called to-do app and we can CD into our to-do app. We can run npm install, so grab all the dependencies. And once that's completed, then we can run npm run dev. And that'll go ahead and spin up a webpack with a hot reloading. So we can go ahead and see our changes happen uh, every time we make a change and save it. So it's pretty sweet. So I'll probably pause here real quick while this installs. All right, everything's installed. So now we can go npm run dev. Now we'll start up our server. Blam! Cool. So nice little home page. That's awesome. Um, so it's got all the links you would need to kind of learn more, the chat rooms, all that good stuff. Awesome, so let's go ahead and from here, let's launch Adam, our web editor. Uh, 
We shouldn't need that command line anymore. You'll just see it reloading in the background there. Let's go ahead with that. All right, so you can kind of see the directories here. We have source, which have some of our static assets like this logo file here. Um, then we have our components go in a specific directory. And then you have your um, main kind of template here. So you see main.js, it loads in app. So app's kind of the wrapper for everything. And you can see they do it a little different. So they actually have your your HTML kind of template here and everything goes between template tags. Then you have your script tags, like a normal HTML page would. And then you have your style tags right here, which is, uh, so that's a little different that each page, each component is gonna have these three parts. So what I like to do is actually split these up. So what we can do is we can grab all the script stuff and Got that. I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to say source equals, say, dot slash, same directory, app.js. And then we're going to create a new file, we'll call it app.js. We're just going to paste our code right in there. And you should see it still works. Perfect. So we can do the same for styles, just because we're going to have a little bit of code in here, so I don't want to get it too cluttered. We can just go source equals, same thing, same directory with the dot slash, css.js. And, oh, it's failing because we don't have that file yet. So let's go new file. Um, Say, let's say app.css. There we go. Paste it in. Boom. And it should be. Oh, did I type it in wrong? Not. What am I doing? Getting all backwards. App.css. There we go. Back, back to good. All right. So now that we have that. Now we can actually start adding components. So that was setting up our Vue.js app, uh, getting out of the box and kind of getting stuff situated so we're good to go here. Um, in the next uh, tutorial, we'll actually go ahead and start building our first component, which will be the header component. So see you in a bit.